Earlier in the show, we went shopping with cheese expert Laura Werlin. Well, after we wrapped up our purchases, we headed off to Laura's Kitchen in San Francisco, where we whipped up a tasty and cheesy dish to pair with wine. In our chef's table, Laura shows us a mouth-watering recipe you can master in your own kitchen. We brought two cheeses home, mezzo secco, a type of jack, and an organic Swiss. We're using them to make cheese fondue, complete with a menage a trois white wine. All right, so we're gonna put the cheese in the bowl. By adding flour, we're adding starch, which helps prevent the cheese from curdling. And just a tad of cayenne pepper gives it a spicy kick. Put that aside for a minute while we chop the fennel and the tomatoes that are gonna go into the fondue. Laura's recipe calls for sauteed fennel and tomatoes. So right. fennel with cheese, is that a natural mix or is this a... That's a very good question. Um, I wouldn't say that it's something you see every day, but it was just something that occurred to me that might be good together and, um, and it turned out it really was. We're taking extra care to remove seeds and juice so our fondue won't be runny or red. There you go. Excellent. A little more. And a little more. All right, so we're ready for the wine? Yes, we're going to warm that up first. And just put it on medium low heat so that it warms but doesn't boil because we're going to add the cheese to it and we want the cheese to start to melt slowly. We don't want to assault it with boiling wine. <laughs> <laughs> While our wine warms up, Laura preps the bread. Oh, that bread looks great, doesn't what is it? That? This is focaccia, and one of the things about fondue is not just the cheese mixture, but the bread that you dip in it. And focaccia is a wonderful dipper, and particularly in the fondue that we're making. So I'm gonna cut it first into strips, and then I'm gonna cut it into one inch chunks, and that'll be just about the right size for us to dip with. Mm. So Laura, is it time to add the cheese to the wine? Yes, it is. Is that sort of a traditional thing, a wine and fondue? Yes, it is, and uh, it is not only traditional, but there's a purpose to it. The wine keeps the cheese from curdling. Once our cheese is evenly melted, fennel and tomatoes enter the mix. Then we pour it all into an old-fashioned fondue pot. All right, Laura, should we dig in? Let's do it. What a fun recipe. Ooh. Oh, it's, it's good. hot. You know, it's the best of wine country in a pot. We've got wine and cheese. Give me the plate. <laughs> <laughs> Laura, thank you. What a fun recipe. You're so welcome.